Well, pleased to be joined by uh, Matt Savoy and Connor Geeky, picks one and two in the 2019 Western Hockey League Bantam Draft. Yeah, take us through the day and what it was like for you. Uh, yeah, I was actually at school when uh, when my name was called. I was I was just in the library. I got to school early that day. So, and then uh, yeah, I was I was picked. It was a whirlwind. I got lots of texts, lots of congratulations from you know past coaches, family members, and stuff like that. And then. Uh, Right when I went to my first class, I was about two minutes in, I got a call from Matt. So I, I, I just went straight out and told my teacher I had to take a call. And, you know, I was super pumped. And it was, it was honestly a, such a great day. And I'm really glad with the choice I made. And it was just a whirlwind of emotions that day. So, you know, it's interesting, Connor, because uh, on that day last year, uh, you would have been aware that uh, the first pick went to the ice and that it was Matt. And then, uh, well, you pick it up for us. What was that morning like? You hadn't gotten to school yet. Yeah, so obviously I uh, just went to the dentist, and then obviously the the trades happened, and it was pretty. We all kind of had an idea on what was going on, but you never you never think it could actually happen, right? And then obviously, getting picked uh, second, and then Jake and Matt both calling me, it was it was pretty special just, you know, having that, uh, having that experience and seeing, uh, all how it panned out. So no, it's just like Matt said, a whirlwind of emotions for sure. What a unique situation. Uh, the ice had the first pick, they'd won the lottery. They take that first pick and then they swing a couple of deals and get themselves up uh, to that second spot right in behind the top pick. Your name gets called. And, and I, I got to think, uh, you know, that all of the excitement surrounding that, day uh, and the trades being made you knew you were going to be right there near the top and uh, all of a sudden there's your name second in the draft and a Manitoba guy that's got to be uh, well similar to Matt it's got to be tough to go to school and pay attention that day yeah it was definitely uh once you got to school there's a lot of congratulations and stuff but just try to take it like any other day and just keep it on the down low even though it's was, it was pretty exciting though for me and my family so it was good Matt as you think about uh, going into the draft and, and what these young guys are going to go through in the next little bit here. Um, is there any advice for a young player uh, going into draft day in terms of how to process it all and how to kind of move on from it? Uh, it's going to be a quick day. So I think it's just enjoy it and, you know, try not to be too nervous. Like obviously there will be nerves because you don't know what team you're going to, but like just enjoy it, have fun with it. Uh, be excited for whatever team you go to and, uh, yeah, just just don't get down if you don't get drafted. It's it's obviously not the end. Lots of guys have made it, but uh, yeah, if you get drafted, congratulations to you and and have a good day and enjoy it. Boy, the day goes fast and time goes fast. We're a year later from when you guys were selected and, and talking about it like a couple of old timers. Appreciate it, guys. Uh, enjoy your time and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Yeah, thanks for having me, Mitch. Thank you.